when do we create sales processes? And so, you know, we've not gone real in depth in sales processes from a traditional business sense. We've created sales process around job opportunities versus a sales opportunity. But they're asking if an organization has two similar selling processes, do we need to create two different sales processes? Can we use one with multiple record types and page layouts? So you need to have an, an individualized sales process associated with a record type. And when you, and I've got to think about that, cause like, you know, you may be able to combine, um, you know, multiple different record types to the same sales process and associate those. And so that as well really depends on um, your own use case and scenario. And uh, let me, let me go into sharing my screen because when I talk about, when I talk about sales processes, it's hard to visualize that a lot of times. So if I go into setup, I'm gonna pull up sales process. And these are sometimes referred to as business processes as well, just to confuse things. Um, and that's when you're deploying things to be a change set. And I do get into this module three. I was looking for sales processes to uh, promote to production via change set. It wasn't under sales process, it was under business process. So that's helpful. But um, so if we create a new sales process, we've got the two um, sales processes that we've created, one for jobs and one for sales opportunities. So let's say that we wanna create a new sales process. And uh, so if our business was selling different types of products, let's say that we're some large Fortune 500 con uh, company and that we're selling uh, televisions and we're selling um, microwaves, for example. So let's, let's create a sales process. Let's, just, let's not get so specific. Let's just say that these are electronics. I'm gonna enter in a description. And so this is a sales process for electronic goods. And so then if you remember, sales process controls which pick list values are available on the stage on opportunities. And so I'm just going to remove a few of these just to make it unique and click save. So this is our electronics sales process. So now if we go into object manager, I'm in the opportunity object. If I go into record types. So in this scenario, like, and you can just ignore what we have here. Just go, okay, we're expanding. We've got this new electronics sales process. And so we really need record types around one for televisions and one for microwaves. So we're gonna create a couple of record types. And so we're gonna base this record type off of the sales opportunity record type. And we're gonna say that this is the TV um, record type for opportunity like sales process to make it active. And I'm just gonna enable this for my system administrator profile. And then I'm going to just apply the sales opportunity page layout. Now later we would go in and we would create a specific page layout for this sales process and for this record type specifically. This is the TV record type. So we would want TV related fields on this page layout. So now, if you remember, we're creating a new record type. I'm gonna click Save a New to create another record type for microwaves. I'm going to base this record type off of the sales opportunity record type as well. I'm gonna give it a label of microwave. And then as well, I'm gonna associate this with the uh, electronics sales process. So I think that answers your question, I hope. Uh, but what we've just accomplished there is we've created two new record types on the opportunity object and we've associated them both with the same sales process. And so um, I just went through that process just to confirm that because I, I felt like I was painting myself into a corner and was misspeaking. And uh, so really you can customize these though to fit your own business needs and I'm going to apply the sales opportunity page layout here. Now, while I'm here, since we have a few more record types, let me go back to record types. 
one of the things from last week's assignment is, and this was in the stretch area at the very end, and it was kind of this aside that I mentioned was you could assign these page layouts um, by record type. And how that works, and I didn't spell this out in the video, is if you go into page layout assignment, you notice we now have five record types. In my instance, I've got my lovely microwave record type. And I also, if I click next, I have my TV record type. And then the profiles are down here in these different rows. And so if I had a page layout specific to television, for example, let me click on this and show you how to create a new um, page layout real quick. So I can do a save as. And so I was on TV, I think, I don't remember. So I'm just gonna call this the TV opportunity page layout. And click save. And so now if I go back to the object manager, and awesome. All right, so I go back to the object manager. I'm like forgetting where I was at. Oh yeah, I was on opportunity. And um, page layouts, page layout assignment. It's coming back to me. So, so now I just created that TV page layout. So let me go over to the TV record type. Now I can uh, edit assignment. I go into edit mode here and I can click and select by profile and by record type to mass change which page layout I want to assign. And so now I've got to select the page layout to use. And so I'm going to select the TV opportunity page layout and that updates all of these. And I click save and now I've assigned the TV opportunity page layout to the uh, TV record type on opportunities. And so now I could do the same for microwave. I'm not gonna beat a dead horse at this point and belabor the point, but that's the process of assigning page layouts by record type.